Now I have before me the BenQ PD2705U, a beautiful IPS display at a 60 hertz refresh rate and 4K resolution. Now this thing is perfect for designers, artists, photographers, and video editors. It comes with a 99% sRGB at a Delta E less than three, and it has 99% Rec 709 color gamut range as well. So it makes it great for both artists, designers, photographers, and video editors with the Rec 709. If you're an Apple user, specifically on the M1 platform, then this monitor is the perfect alternative to the overly expensive 5K displays currently offered by Apple. With BenQ's Display Pilot software, you immediately have compatibility with the new Mac M1 system without having to go through a Rosetta emulation. So this is a plug and play opportunity and at a fraction of the cost. At just over $500, this is the perfect 5K Apple display alternative. And like I mentioned earlier, with a 99% sRGB and Rec. 709, plus an Adobe RGB of 86% and a DCI-P3 of 79%, all at a brightness of 334 nits. This display is beautiful to look at and color accurate. Now, one thing that BenQ includes, which I think is super handy, is what they call the puck. Now, you can set this up with a lot of custom functionality, but you can quickly control the brightness just by rolling the dial on the puck. I can switch between connection ports on the back, so I can jump over from HDMI to USB-C, right here from the puck. So if I wanna have two different systems set up at the same time, you can easily swap back and forth with a single click on the puck device. Now, the thing is, if you switch over to a device, for instance, that is 16 by 10 aspect ratio versus a 16 by nine aspect ratio, currently you're looking at my desktop PC, switching over to the USB-C on this 16 by 10 aspect ratio laptop, you'll notice there's some spacing on the side of the display. Now, if you do end up getting this monitor and you're like, oh no, I got the wrong laptop for this monitor. Not true. Just go into your display settings and switch it up to the correct 4K resolution and you are good to go. Now, as you can see here, I only have one cord going into my laptop because this carries both display and it powers the laptop all at the same time. So it keeps your desk very minimal and clean. As a designer by trade, I am obsessed with a perfectly organized desk. I don't want any cords, any materials. Get this paper off my desk. And so that allows you to keep things nice and clean with one cord and your switcher to jump back and forth between the devices that you're displaying onto your screen. Another thing that's super nice about the monitor is because you're connecting over USB-C, you immediately have access to the ports on the side and back of your monitor. So let's say you have something like an Apple MacBook Air or an Apple MacBook Pro, where you only have USB-C connectivity on your laptop. Well, you can benefit from the USB port on the side of your display. So you go ahead and plug in the USB port and you can immediately access that drive right off of the display. So not only do you have power delivery, not only do you have display, but you also have port access from the monitor. So I know for me, whenever I'm using Mac products, I don't use them a lot, but when I do, I often get really frustrated with the low amount of connectivity for the different devices. There's also connectivity and ports on the back of the monitor so you can access those as well, all through the singular USB-C cord plugged into your laptop or you know, perhaps a desktop setup. Note that this system comes with all the cords you'll need in the box. You have USB-C, standard USB, HDMI, display port, and your power plug all in the box. So no worries about having to pick up any extra cords. When you go and buy this device, you got everything and you'll be good to go. I spend a lot of time behind my screen optimizing, editing, and benchmarking computers for YouTube. So having iSafe built into the monitor, having a monitor that does not fatigue my eyes has been fantastic. Over the past month of using this monitor, I've noticed a substantial decrease in eye strain compared to monitors I've used in the past. So I'm very excited to have this monitor and have it be so easy on my eyes. Now, one thing I've highly considered is having a tandem Mac and PC setup. And so with the KVM switcher, it makes that a breeze. In the past, I thought, man, I would have to get out, you know, unplug cords, chain things around. But having this puck to just toggle back and forth makes my workflow so nice going between Mac and PC. So in the past, I haven't done that because I thought, what would be the point of having a Mac on my desk setup if I can't quickly switch over to it? So this is really encouraging me to head towards that system. I love doing productivity tasks 
tasks on Mac rather than Windows. And so having this set up, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to run my full editing PC, start exporting, go ahead and toggle over to say my Mac device, which will be hopefully coming in soon. And then I can just get to my productivity. And what it does is it doesn't bog down my editing PC so I can export super fast to keep my workflow really optimized. Now this monitor does have a function where you can actually have both displays shown at the same time. I don't necessarily love this feature and I'll show you why as it starts to pull up the two on the screen here. Really the reason would be is it kind of does this weird uh, shrunken down size of your monitor. If you had a bigger, wider screen, say it's something like a 50 inch display or more that was really wide, it would make more sense to have your displays set up next to each other. I could see some use cases for this. Let's say if you're trying to match the color grading between two separate projects on two separate computers, maybe you would do this. Or let's say you have two benchmarks pulled up. I just don't see a lot of functionality, but I do think it is a cool feature for the niche moments when you might wanna use something like this. Overall, if you're looking for a monitor with great color accuracy, great functionality, and at a fantastic price point with a reputation like BenQ, then you can't go wrong with this monitor. I really think it's a great buy, and it has so much functionality baked right in, and they're always updating that display pilot software to make sure that they're up to date on all the latest software. Specifically, like I mentioned, being able to not have to run Rosetta emulation, you can literally run right onto the M1 platform. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.